takes patience, much more than this nation has left, while the usual suspects of the past have the guts to still make grotesque threats with pitchforks or comebacks in the name of sovereignty, dignity, purity. Take the fight against corruption. It takes political will. And yes, we have it. It takes reforms all over the board. And yes, we've embarked in all of them. It takes modernization, of course. And yes, we are working incessantly for it. Nevertheless, it takes first and foremost an independent and fully functioning justice system. While all we can do so far, while we wait for its benefits to materialize, is to take advantage of digitalization and new technologies that can help developing countries leap from one era to another just in a few years. But it can hardly be enough to relieve people from their growing impatience and frustration despite the indisputable changes that we continue to make. Take the further upgrades of healthcare, education, public administration too. We did more in eight years than decades. But how can it be enough while the world we live in is so interconnected and Albanians are so intertwined with the world that the government is bound to be compared with the neighboring European Union, where healthcare, education systems, public administration have been built long before in Albania there was a state. Take inequality and social justice. We did a lot, but still a far more lot remains to be done. And I won't go on. I did not mean to present you with a litany of complaints, nor with an outcry for sympathy with my reflections on the search for lost time. But it is the end of another year after all, so if not now, when? Having to lead the country for a third unprecedented mandate is an honor and a privilege that I am the first Albanian to have. To me, this means something so important and so obliging toward the people of this country that I cannot find the words to express and I am committed to give it all of myself to pay it back as much as it is humanly possible. In the coming days, I launch a new initiative of the government to open a new page of interaction between us, the government, and the people, independently from their political affiliation. These are very challenging times, and we have to act all together like citizens of Albania, like fathers, mothers and children, like brothers and sisters, like people that want to give their best to their country, like humans that want the best for such a beautiful portion of Earth that we are blessed to call home. The future we all want cannot be built just with our convictions and the freedom to express them, but also through our will to listen more to each other and work more closely together, despite our differences. If it seems too much easier said than done, when it comes to party politics, it should not be as difficult 